Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We begin with North Korea firing this morning what it claims to be a space launch vehicle carrying its first spy satellite a day after the regime's official launch announcement. It failed with the vehicle falling into the West Sea due to an apparent engine problem. But the regime says it'll try again soon. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim mo starts us off. Just a day after North Korea announced it plans to launch a spy satellite sometime in June, South Korea's military confirmed that the reclusive regime launched a rocket carrying a satellite on Wednesday. Our military detected what North Korea claimed to be a space launch vehicle traveling in a southward direction from the area of Dongchangli in Pyongyangbukdo province at around 6.29 a.m. The launch, which is North Korea's seventh satellite launch attempt and the first since 2016, however, ended in failure. The launch was supposed to put North Korea's first spy satellite into orbit. Military analysis says the rocket fell into the West Sea around 200 kilometers west of South Korea's Ocheongdo Island. On Pyongyangdo Island off South Korea's west coast and located below the rocket's flight path, residents were quickly ushered into shelters as public speakers blasted out warnings for 20 minutes. The launch also prompted officials to send emergency evacuation messages via text and public speakers all over the capital city, as they initially thought that debris may fall from the sky. Following the chaos, Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff identified an apparent part of the North's vehicle and retrieved it, and they are now in the process of examination. North Korea's state-run Korean Central News Agency also reported on the launch, saying that its Cheolima-1 satellite launch rocket failed due to instability in the engine and fuel system. It says the rocket plunged into the sea after losing thrust due to the abnormal starting of a second-stage engine. The KCMA said that North Korea is currently analyzing what went wrong and will launch another rocket in the near future. Meanwhile, South Korea's intelligence agency points at the North's decision to suddenly shift the course of the vehicle towards the West, as well as a drastically cut short preparation process as the reasons behind the failure. It also judges that the satellite weighs around 300 kilograms and is 1.3 meters long and that it's only capable of carrying out reconnaissance missions. The agency says it estimates that it will take the regime weeks to fix the engine failure unless the defect turns out to be minor. After the latest launch, Seoul's presidential office convened an emergency meeting of the National Security Council. Members condemned the launch as a serious provocation and a violation of UNSC resolutions that threatens peace on the Korean Peninsula and in the international community. President Yoon sung yeol was immediately briefed on the launch and continued to be updated on the situation in real time. Kim mo Arirang News.